Technique number 18 in the 5th Green Kimball Karate for Christ curriculum is brushing the storm. So again, we've got our club attack technique, uh, difference in a downward vertical attack again. Uh, but this will be the first time we see it coming from a, rather than from straight ahead, this one's going to come from your right side. So they're attacking here in, from an obscure angle, right? Trying to catch you unaware as they step in from 3 o'clock and downward club attack uh, comes towards you. So this is uh, brushing the storm. So as they do this, and I'll show it from the front, but then when we actually do the technique, of course, you'll be going towards, towards 3 o'clock to do it correctly. But um, as that club is coming down, I want to step forward here. We assume they're advancing with their right foot as they do it, too. I want to step past that right foot, and I'm stepping kind of in a, uh, if I'm standing on the line here, rather than into a right side neutral bow as I move towards them, move towards 3 o'clock, I'm going to be inverted. So it's going to be toe and heel on the same line that way so that he can pass right by. I'm still close. I want to parry his arm while at the same time keep my hand between his here. So you want your body, if here's his arms, this is the zone of his attack here, right? And here's the space. You want to move your body out past the danger, right? Out past that zone while at the same time, leave your arm, which is going to deliver a palm strike, still in between his arms. So you're fitting your arm to come up and catch him in the chin as you slip around his attacking arm. That's the idea. So as his club comes down, I want to parry by, slip in that, and before it can really generate its force again, I don't want to be on the outside edge of that club. That's why we're stepping forward. We're stepping in deep here. Uh, you might possibly catch like a little bit of a forearm crash on your shoulder. Um, that's better than taking the full force of a club to the side of your head as you step in here. But we are advancing in on him with this parry here on the arm and palm strike catches the chin. And I want my toe and heel on the same line here. So I'm stepping towards them, just past them, but my arm is still between theirs. His arm is running right here. Right along his right arm, past me, holding the weapon. Uh, on, this is one of the few club techniques, there are a few of them, but we don't worry about doing a disarm. You'll see why um, the end puts him in a position where it would take more work to try and get the club than just to get away. So, as the club comes down, first move, step into this inverted neutral bow, heel toe line, parry with the left, palm strike to the chin. Now from here, I'm going to advance, I'm stepping almost behind him now with the left foot. And that arm that hit him in the chin is going to rise up. And I'm going to drive my elbow down into his sternum. Straight down that line. So as a palm strike lifts up, elbow as you step forward with the left, driving right down into their sternum. And from here, we're going to do, if you remember back when we did the sickle in orange belt, we uh, trapped one leg, lifted it off the ground, and took them onto their back right from the front we pull one of their legs out from underneath them. Now you're going to get around behind them, grab a leg, pull it out from underneath them from behind. We're going to use the same format we used in um, the sickle to take the leg, only we're coming at it from the opposite side. We'll, we'll be behind the attacker this time. So again, he attacks, parry, palm strike, step, elbow, and you're spinning around them. And as you spin them around, or spin around them, right, you want to be behind the right leg, right arm is up here, kind of on their right hip. Your right hand's going to lift down if it can't catch in front of the knee, slightly below the knee, lifting the leg up backwards. Pull their leg up while you're behind them here and holding them up. Now, they still have a stick. You've dodged them. You're behind them. Uh, you're lifting one leg up. They don't have a lot of balance. Don't give them the chance to start turning and swinging towards you, right? As soon as that leg is up, we're going to come back in with the back foot, side kick behind the knee that they're standing on. So you've lifted the right leg, you're going to kick out the left, dropping them down onto their knee, and if they are still holding onto their stick, um, they don't have it in a position where they can swing it at you. Most likely they drop it in the process of falling so that they can catch themselves. So from there, we're not going to worry about coming back and getting the stick. You're going to full cover out. You'll continue full cover uh, with your full cover out in the same direction the technique starts towards 3 o'clock. So it will continue to move that way. Now, 
talking about that angle vector. So the club attack comes from three when you actually perform this. You're going to parry, step and palm strike, step towards three, dropping that elbow down right on the sternum, and swing the right leg all the way around behind them now. So you want to made a full, you were in front, now you're behind, checking their hip, reach forward, grab the right leg and lift it up. They're standing on their left, don't give them a chance to swing around with that club. Side kick the knee that they're standing on, and with that side kick, I front cross and start my full cover out uh, towards, towards 3 o'clock. Move over here again so I don't interrupt the, uh, the camera angle. So again, parry, palm strike, step, drop the elbow, spin, lift the leg up, side kick the left leg, full cover out to escape. That's brushing the storm. One more time, brushing the storm.